Q3 is here. Q3 is here. Yes. So in this video, I just want to share with you guys some, some questions to ask yourself this Q3. I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, the two halves of Q3 and why I believe that Q3 is all about streamlining in your business. Okay. Wherever you are right now, I hope you're doing outstanding. I hope you're motivated. I hope you're pumped. It's a beautiful start to, to a new week. And we are talking Q3 in this video. Okay. So the two halves of Q3. Before I share that with you, allow me first to share with you what I believe that the strategy is for Q3. Q3, all of us, we want to be massively, massively focusing on streamlining. Okay. Streamlining. If you've heard of me say this before, I believe every single one of the quarters that we have, every quarter that we have, it's got, we've got to have some un, over, overarching strategy for each quarter. So the first quarter, quarter one, it's all about planting seeds, okay? Planting massive seeds in the brand new year, which is going to reap later on in the year. Q2 was all about from those seeds that you planted, goes into the training, the development of your new systems. All those things that you planted early on in the year. Q1 was awesome, you took massive action, you committed to lots of different things, maybe you got new assistants, maybe you got new tools, maybe you got new, um, new systems in your business, maybe you moved out into a warehouse, whatever it is, you've planted some huge seeds. Q2 was then about the training, the de development, the systems, and now we're talking Q3, which is the streamlining and the efficiency of your entire business, right? So the efficiency and the streamlining of your business inspired for Q3. Absolutely, Jerry. So what does that mean? It means Q3 actually has two halves. Okay. The first half, which we're going into right now, it's the 1st of July. Everybody or the majority of people that have got families, people that have been going to education, we're all looking forward to the summer. I think we all can relate to that. It's been a, it's been a, it's been a tough first six months. First six months of the year, long, long months. Q1 and Q2 is always the hardest in the month. That's why me and you, veterans, people that are committed to taking massive action, we go through the the low times to reap in the massive times, right? But everybody's looking towards the summer holidays. Everybody's booking the holidays. Everybody's starting to, to get the, the, the beach and sun's heads on, right? What does that mean for us in our business? That actually means for the first month, okay, for this first month, now's a fantastic time to ask yourself lots and lots of questions in your business. Efficiency type questions, streamlining type questions. Ask yourself some tough questions such as, has what you've done up until this point has it worked? The, res the assistants that you've brought in, have they worked? The new systems that you've developed, have they worked? And be honest about that. Just review them over the next couple of weeks. Just think about, okay, a, a, huge, a huge area of our business is reliant on this assistant or uh, we're sourcing in this way or um, the efficiency, our purchasing. Our purchasing may have been slightly wrong. Maybe we've not been purchasing enough. Maybe we've been purchasing too much. Maybe you've got some dead stock at this point. Look at your stock over 90 days. Think about that and look into them. Look into them and see and decide what you're going to do. You need to streamline. You need to, you need to cut the fat. Now's the time for stripping. Okay. Now's the time to, to look at your infantry health. Look at that and go, what dead stock have I got here? What lessons are there to be learned here? Okay, and, and, and cascade that to your whole team. Get together in your whole team and, and talk. Right, we're talking replenishing. How's our replenishing been this year so far? Um, have, we, have we had, how many times have we re had to replenish every single month? You should be tracking that. How many times are you replenishing the same item? Should you just go deeper? Um, sh should you try finding a wholesale supplier? All these different questions to ask, right? So it's all about efficiency. It's all about streamlining it's all about cutting the fat the toughest question of all is looking in the mirror and believing in yourself love it jerry love it because right now it's a great time for us right now it's a fantastic time for us because it's half the half of the years is gone 
okay half a year is gone at this point which means the first half like i said ask yourself some tough questions how have you been okay how have you been in your journey so far this isn't about getting yourself down just be honest just be honest like okay i could have given more I, I dackered off a little bit. I lost motivation. I come across tough times and now I need to, now I need to get back on it. It's a brand new month. It's a brand new quarter. It's time to, to shed your skin and get back on the train and keep it going, right? The year is going fast. The year's going so fast. It's half, half the year's gone already. Before you know it, it's Q4. And that is why Q3 has two halves. I've already mentioned the first one. It's all about the asking the questions, the efficiency. It's about thinking about your systems. It's about how are you optimizing your systems? Like I mentioned, infantry planning, look at your infantry planning, look at your, um, the dashboard, look at how many products you got over 90 days, look at your replenishing, how's that been? Look at your sourcing, what's the performance been of your sourcing team? All that is really, really important. That goes into the second half of Q4. When people have gone, they've, they've broken up, okay? They've gone into summer holidays. People are now going on their holidays. Now it's time for you to start thinking Q4 because Q4 is gonna be here before you know it. Q4 is literally three months away at this point, which means over the next six weeks, four to six weeks, you really need to start thinking about your strategy for Q4, because what are we talking about in Q4? The overarching strategy that I have is ultimately maximizing profit. That's what this is all about. You're building a business to maximize profit in Q4 and minimize time and minimize time. Now, it all depends on where you currently are in your life cycle of your business. If you are, if you've been doing this for a few years, now is the time to use the leverage that you've got, your assistants. You are maximizing the profit in your business. You're looking at your assistants going, ah, what, how much benefit are you giving to my business? Where can you work better? You're starting to do appraisals. You should be doing appraisals anyway. Okay, you're doing appraisals with them. You're saying, this is your performance. You, this has been good. This has not been good. This is where your goals are, your targets are, right? Because Q4 is all about maximizing profit. This isn't the time for... Um, you know, giving charity to, to everybody that's not performing. Now is the time to for you all to get together as a team in your your lubricated machine. Okay, that's what online arbitrage mastery the machine was all about. That's what I, that's what I built in the first place, right? So you want to start thinking about quantities. The natural demand of of Q3 into Q4 is gonna keep ramping up, it's gonna keep ramping up. You're gonna wake up one morning and you're gonna start thinking, oh my God, there's been a step change. And that's what happens, there's step changes that occur where you wake up and you think, whoa, I've just got like 300 pound sales and I've just got out of bed, right? These types of things happen, okay? So start thinking about quantities. Quantities is really, really important. Start monitoring, monitoring your stock levels. This is where you need to be proactive. You don't want to wait until you've run out of stock. You want to have a look at the, the quantities that you've purchased. You want to see, is that being the optimized quantity? And you want to make sure that, let's say you've been selling, I don't know, 10 units. Uh, let me turn around here. I'm just going about to walk into the main road. Um, let's, say, let's say, for example, you've been selling 10 units. S start doing replenishing, doing your replenishing check on a more continuous basis, like instead of maybe once a week, start doing it twice a week, just to see what's happening with the demand, right? So these are just some questions to ask yourself. Let me just find out what's, uh, Sean, the year is going fast. Can't really believe that 19 is halfway through, but the future is, is immense. Absolutely, Jerry, it's absolutely immense. But these are the questions that you wanna ask. The two halves of Q Q3, the first half, Look yourself, look your, mirror, uh, your, your business in the mirror, okay? Look at the questions, that, those questions that you can ask yourself. How, we be, how have we been doing? How efficient have we been? What's our infantry health been like? Did we go overstocking some stuff? Um, did, we, uh, did we not purchase enough? Start taking some samples out of your business from, from February, from um, April. Start getting some samples of your purchasing and seeing whether you purchased too little you just ran out of stock which meant there was an opportunity for you to to actually make more money okay really be honest with yourself how have you performed have you been motivated did you lose your motivation some way did you get discouraged did you have some failures in your business that you learned from 
It's a really great time. Instead of waiting until the end of the year to the beginning of the year to think about what you want, think about what you want now. Is there some things that you could be doing right now? If you haven't taken action on maybe a, a virtual assistant or a you wanted to get out into a prep service, now's the time to get out into one. It's not too late to plant those seeds, but we've got to do that right now, okay? To, to really maximize your profit and maximize your time. Okay, really, really important. And then Q, Q4, obviously the prep for Q4. We're talking all things maximizing profit. Yeah, so uh, I hope you guys have been doing absolutely amazing. I can see Sean, he made over 4,000 in June. Over 4,000 in June. You keep doing what you're doing, Sean. You are going to be, uh, I'm predicting, in the 20s for you, for the amount of work that you've been doing, for the amount of effort that you've put in, for the amount of massive action that you've been taking. You've been taking, you, you've, you're so energetic at this point, you're gonna get a huge, huge reward at the end of the year. So keep doing what you're doing. Be proud of yourself, definitely. Like I said, there's two halves of this. You may well have been on fire all year. You've been taking massive action all year. Now's maybe a time to step back and just go, do you know what? I did well, did well. Anyway, wanted to jump on. Wish you all a very um, happy Q3. July the 1st is here. Keep doing it, keep working at it. You guys that were maybe in the, in the 100 day challenge, we've only got about 14 days left or so, uh, or I think something like 16 days, something like that. Finish strong, keep taking massive action and uh, have a great day guys. See you later. Let's do this. Come on.